guys! So today I wanted to bring you a video on five must-have types or kinds of heels. Um, and you probably have some, if not all of these, in shoes already. But just in case you don't, or just in case you're looking for another pair of shoes to buy, even if you have a bunch of shoes you're not looking to buy more, but you realize that you can never find the right shoe for your outfit, I want to show you just five different styles of stilettos that cover all. Um, and this doesn't go into wedges. If you want wedges in an addition like that or flats, let me know. Uh, but all of these heels have one thing in common is that they have a little stiletto, whether it's very short or very tall. And they are must-haves for your closet and really any outfit that you put together. The most versatile option is to have a plain black pair of stilettos. Um, these are just a very basic pair. They're not too shiny. They're just a regular leather. They're in a black basic color. Brown would also be good with a closed toe. These in particular are very, very easy to walk in, even though they do have a bit of a heel to them. Um, and these literally go with anything. You can dress them up very formally. You can dress them down. You can wear them to weddings or funerals. You can wear them with some fancy dresses or you could wear them very casually with like a business blazer and suit. So these really go with everything. These are definitely the number one pick. If you don't have any heels, this is a great place to start. Um, and you can also choose the stiletto height depending on your preference. If you like them tall, then go tall. If you're not that great walking in heels, maybe start with something like a kitten heel that's a little bit lower. The next thing that you should have is a pair of nude heels. These could also be heels like the pump, like this one, um, or these could be strappy. But the goal of this is to lengthen your legs. So you want to make sure that this is in a color that's really going to elongate you. If you have darker skin, choose Choose a shoe that matches your color. If you have paler skin, choose a shoe that accentuates that. If it's rosy, if it's more of a olive undertone, um, be sure to go with whatever matches your skin best. And the way this works is that when you have your foot in here, it's going to elongate your leg. Instead of having a color like this, it's black and it makes your leg look cut off, it's going to make your leg appear longer than it actually is and actually make your foot kind of give the illusion of making your foot look like part of your leg. So these are perfect for summer, um, whether they're strappy or not. If you want, you can definitely get a closed-toed one for winter that you could also wear during the summer. But whether it's open or toes clo, you need whether it's open or toes clo, a new pair of heels is a definite must. Any skirts, any shorts, anything that shows your legs is gonna make them look like they go for miles. Or even if you're wearing pants like jeans with a blazer um, or with a fun top, these are just a great neutral piece that you could use to bounce off the colors of a handbag or you know a shirt or a statement necklace or something like that. Next thing you need are a pair of ankle booties. These are from H&M and they're a decent height and they're easy to walk in. Your ankle booties should be as comfortable as possible and the reason why is because these are meant for walking. These look super chic tucked into jeans but what's great is that they give you a lot of support. When you zip these up, your entire foot is in here so it's going to be much harder to fall out. Yes, you have a stiletto but the lower the stiletto, the easier it'll be into the easier it'll be to walk in. These go with a ton of different things. Again, you could tuck them into jeans or you could wear bootcut jeans and put the jeans over them so it looks just like a basic um, either boot or a basic shoe. Either way, these are great. You can get them in so many different colors and they really are a staple to have in your closet. Next, one of my personal favorites, you need an evening shoe um, or something that's just a little bit fancier. I love these. These are from Chica Shoes. I don't really, I don't know. Just that one. <laughs> but what's great about these is that you can wear them on very, very formal occasions for a really formal silver floor long dress. Um, you could wear them with a little black dress to like a cocktail party. Or you could even wear these in, on a nights out with your girlfriend. You could wear them with skinny jeans. You could wear them with a skirt and a fun top, uh, maybe some silver jewelry. Either way, you want something that is a little bit more dressy. Um, the strappiness makes them look a little bit more nights outy, so you could do this in like the city. Um, if you did get one that was not as strappy and just had a lot of these embellishments, it might be more of an evening shoe. But either way, something like this will not steer you wrong. And I've also seen little clamps like for instance, a basic back pump, you can put like a little clamp on here and it has like little jewels on it. So all of a sudden your basic black pump can become a formal pump. So keep an eye out for things like those if you don't want to spend money on another pair of heels. The very last but definitely not least pair of shoes, this is from Steve Madden, which is why they hurt so bad because Steve Madden shoes are just uncomfortable. Um, but they've been pretty much destroyed because I use them so much, but it is to have a fun pair of statement heels. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a print. 
I obviously love this one because it's a leopard print, um, but you could use a snake print, you could use a zebra print, you could even not go with a print and you could do just a bright pop of blue or a bright pop of purple, but whatever it is, make sure that it really accentuates your closet. If you do really like prints and you wear a lot of basic or natural colored things, then this is a great way to go. If you tend to wear a lot more loud patterns and colors, maybe go for a bright pop of color to kind of spice up an outfit. But these can be worn day or night to dress up so many different kinds of outfits. Um, if you have bright colors, you know, play those off of a piece of jewelry or a handbag or a t-shirt or something like that. You could wear them a little bit more nights out with like a, a little black dress. Or you could even wear these with like blue boot cut jeans, maybe like a bright orange top with some gold jewelry and some black and brown accessories and maybe a black or brown handbag. So those are just my five essential pairs of shoes that I think that every person should own. Um, please tell me if you think that I left something out or if you have your own own for a pair of favorite shoes and please tell me if Steve Madden heels are as uncomfortable for you as they are for me because for some reason oh I just threw it um, for some reason they always end up hurting my feetsies but but I love you my feetsies without shoes love you and um, I cannot wait to talk to you guys soon love you guys bye